How much time did Carlos Sainz gain from his appendix surgery? Did he really go faster? And how much time did he gain over the entire race? The answer to that question can be figured out with simple math, but we need to understand the rules around a driver's weight first. It is crucial for both drivers and cars to be as light as possible in compliance with the rules. If we take Yuki Tsunoda as an example, who is much smaller than say George Russell, he would have a really big advantage by being smaller and lighter, therefore he would go faster. Yuki is forced by the rules to have additional weight placed in his cockpit, a ballast in order to balance out the weight between all the drivers on the track, which should be around 80 kilograms. So it's impossible to just shed off weight and go faster, it will always be countered by the weight of the ballast if the weight is under the limit. But still, for fun, let's find out if Carlos Sainz actually gained time. It is generally known that 10 kilograms of fuel or 10,000 grams equals 0.3 seconds over a lap's distance. A quick Google search will show that the average weight of a human appendix is between 1 and 18 grams, with the average being 6.43 grams. Let's say that a F1 driver generally have an above average body to survive the brutal g-forces in the car, and let's round that number up to 10 grams, not too big and not too small. So the math would go as follows. 10,000 grams of extra weight, EW, is 0.3 seconds, 3 tenths of a second. 1,000 grams of EW, 3 hundredths of a second. 100 grams of EW, 3 thousandths of a second. And then the weight of the appendix, 10 grams of extra weight, 3 ten thousandths of a second. Carlos Sainz drove 58 laps in Australia, which means that 58 laps times 3 ten thousandths of a second per lap equals a time gain of 0.0174 seconds, rounded up to show two hundredths of a second over the entire race distance. Is this a significant amount of time gained? Most likely not for Carlos in Australia, but let's go back to 2022 in the Japanese Grand Prix, which gave us this amazing photo finish between Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso for P6 and P7. Alonso finished behind Vettel by just over one hundredth of a second. If Alonso had removed his appendix quickly before the race, he would have gained enough time to finish ahead of Vettel. So, with that said, should every F1 team start harvesting their driver's organs? Probably not, but it's still fun to see how a, such a small change in weight can affect the cars and races, which just further reinforces the point that the modern F1 cars should be much, much lighter. But that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more fun F1 content, make sure to subscribe. See you all next time.